Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Today I finally updated my Final Cut Pro to the latest version of 10.6 and I've realized that there's this auto tracking feature being added to the Final Cut Pro 10 and I'm gonna show you a few ways to apply this new object tracking method in Final Cut Pro and let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to use these objects tracking uh, to create effects or just to create color grading or just to add color to your editing. So this video is pretty simple and pretty standard, you know, a panning motion the water source. Suppose there is a zombie apocalypse and you want to indicate that this water source is contaminated. How you're gonna do that is pretty simple with the objects track. So first of all, as usual, I'm gonna select this clip and go to the inspector over here and go to trackers, click on this plus sign and you see there's a grid automatically appeared you know, in the middle of the screen and I am going to change the shape to a circular one like this. After that, I'm going to click on Analyze. You can just drag the playhead over and see if this object is being tracked successfully. Click on Done and go to the color board and go to Saturation and bring down the Saturation value. Go to the Effects column and find anything that you need. I'm going to use Colorize and drag this Colorize over to the middle something like that and as you can see there's a new grid but do not worry I've already created a tracker so I'm gonna go to the tracker and hit on this button and select object track and go to shape reshape the thing something like that and once I hit play you can see that this water source is being labeled as red so, you know, this is kind of like an uh, indication of this water source being contaminated. So that's like a very easy way to use this, you know, small little tool in Final Cut Pro. Obviously, you can delete the colorize and create other, you know, interesting effects. So for example, this LC Prism glitch effects, you can get it, you know, for free. And the link will be in the description box. And let's apply this similarly like just now drag it to the middle and choose the track option to object track and you know you can reshape the thing after that i'm gonna hit play yep something like that so this is like a glitch and within the frames of this circular shape that is already tracked by Final Cut Pro. Yep, pretty cool. All right, after watching this clip a few times and you realize that maybe some part of this clip is off, uh, you know, the tracking options, you can always go back to the object track and select the tool, double click on this, and you know, you can go to the previous or next frame like this and change the position accordingly and reanalyze it again if you need to. Next up, I'm going to show you how to use this tool on your titles. For example, I want to add in a hashtag, you know, this one, tutorial for Final Cut Pro 10, and I'm going to drag this over to the timeline. And you realize that once I hit play, this thing is only going to appear in the middle with no movement at all. And do not worry, you can select this you know, title and go to this little icon over here, which is transform, or you can select it over here and click on transform and go to tracker. And if you want to, you know, track the movement of my hand, you can always just change the size of this tracker, shrink it really small and just focus on my fist. So without any adjustment at all, you see that this thing moves wherever my hand moves. And if you don't like the position of this, you can always go back to the transform tool 
and just change the position something like that after that once you hit play you know it's going to be automatically aligned with the movement of my hand pretty easy pretty simple however if you don't want to use titles you want to use logos instead you can always just drag the logo over here and put it on your timeline you know this is a Final Cut Pro logo uh, PNG format you can always you know, shrink the size first like this or just click on the transform tool and just change the size like this and put it over here and click on tracker and just now we've already tracked this thing and you can choose the object track and this is the fist movement and click on done and you can change the position or lengthen the entire duration of this you know, still image of Final Cut Pro's logo and once you hit play this logo is going to move where my hand moves and if you think that this part is not really there you can always bring it up a little bit or you can create a keyframe over here and for the next frame if you move too much or too little you can change it over again like this so once you hit play you realize that there is going to be some movement and this movement is on top of the original trackers movement sometimes you might need this kind of extra movement but finally if you want to be cool and have a clip appear you know between your two hands on this part it can be done with this tracker drag the clip over like this and shrink the size and click on transform and click on tracker and go to the moment where my hand appear like this and you know I can just shrink this tracker size to be like that and yeah something like that and click on analyze after that adjust the length of this video to the position where my hand appears play and see if this is the effect that you want and if you want to make it disappear you can always cut the clip where my hand snaps like this and once I hit play it's going to look pretty awesome yep and maybe you can adjust this position again and maybe increase the size like this and if you don't like the edges you can always add a shape mask to it and click on done and try again something like that pretty cool and that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this and please remember to subscribe and like this video and just drop a comment to show your support or you have any questions that you want to ask me and that's about it and see you next time. Bye-bye.